Coming to you from Knights of Horror Studios, it's the Mindless Horror Podcast with your host, Anthony Zaragoza. Today's guest, Ernie, the creative director and owner of The Great Phantom Haunt. Now, here's your host, Anthony Zaragoza. What is going on, guys? Thank you for tuning in to yet another episode of the Mindless Horror Podcast. I am your host, Anthony Zaragoza. We have a great interview lined up for you guys today. We sat with Ernie from The Great Phantom amazing person one of the most nicest people you'll ever meet a uh, great time great interview give us a little in-depth about what we can expect from the great phantom this season as well as a recap from awaken the spirits and some very cool stuff coming up for the great phantom come time the start of haunt season but before we jump into that interview let's talk about what's been going on in the horror and haunt world i am very excited because we are less than two weeks away from our Orlando trip, and this is something I've always wanted to do. Uh, the reason I got into HHN Orlando's event in the first place was because of Jack the Clown. That's no secret by now if you watch the Boo Bros or the Knights of Horror. I am super excited because I get to see Jack the Clown amongst other amazing icons from HHN's history. Uh, it's gonna be a great year, man. Uh, HHN 30 coming soon, man, and, and it starts uh, actually next week as of this recording. Uh, but I go in two weeks, and I'm super excited. Might see some of the Boo Bros there. Might do some vlogs. Who knows, man? We're going to have a lot of great coverage from over there in Orlando. Well, Rob is over here in Hollywood giving you guys the best and absolute coverage you can for Halloween Horror Nights in Hollywood, which we will be attending, I think, September 19th. So that will be a lot of fun. Uh, with that being said, Haunt Season also does start up in two weeks, man. The opening weekend for Halloween Horror Nights is upon us, followed by... Uh, not Scary Farm and tons of other haunts, Six Flags Fright Fest, uh, uh, LA Haunted Hayride, you know, the list goes on, uh, Hallow Scream, should be a lot of fun, not to mention, you know, when we get to mid to later season, the home haunts are going to start coming out, it's going to be a lot of fun, I'm looking forward to it, I cannot wait, we have a packed, jam-packed season that we're going to be sharing with you guys really soon, um, but until then, stay tuned, we have a lot of great content for you guys. The uh, Evil my, Evil is My Friend tour is going in full effect this year. We couldn't really do it too much last year, but we did hit a lot of great home haunts and drive through haunts last year, which we had a lot of fun. We made, we made do of what was what was 2020, you know what I mean? So, um, let's move on to some horror news, man. One of my favorite game sagas right now, the Dark Pictures Anthology, just released uh, some new news that their new chapter is going to be entitled House of Ashes. If you guys are not familiar with the Dark Pictures Anthology, uh, they did a lot of um, great games. Um, I think Until Dawn was one of them. Um, and, and they just, they really put you into the immersive butterfly effect horror genre, which I really like. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun, a lot of great uh, stuff with that, and I'm looking forward to seeing what's new with them. Speaking of video games, Outlast, if you guys are familiar with the Outlast series, uh, they um, announced a new game called The Outlast Trials. Uh, four years in the making since the second one came out, Outlast 2, which was a crazy game. Uh, but nonetheless, The Outlast Trials is looking pretty good. I saw the trailer today. It's going to be a uh, four-player multiplayer. That's the first ever for the Outlast franchise. Also, you're going to be able to fight back and set down traps for the enemies. So that's another first for the franchise. Uh, prior games, you were only allowed to hide and run. It looks like you're going to be doing a little bit of everything in this one. Uh, also, it's being said that it's going to be a cross between Saw and Escape Room. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that aspect of the game. Should be a lot of fun. Fans of American Horror Story are going to be happy this week because season 10 debuted with a two-episode season. Uh, double feature, which which this first season... Double feature, which this first part of the season is going to be entitled um, Red Tide, about a writer who goes away, kind of like a shining thing, goes to this kind of mysterious town, uh, then later finds out that it's more than meets the eye with this town. I've only seen the first episode so far as of this recording. Planning on watching episode two tonight. Very good um, season thus far with just that first episode. So I can't wait to see what the rest of the season has to hold. I know they're doing American Horror Stories on um, Hulu, which I have to catch up on. But uh, American Horror Story for me, it's, it's, you know, it's really hit or miss. Some seasons are really good. Some seasons are eh. Um, but I, I'm, I'm enjoying this season so far. And it's a double feature. So half the season is going to be Red Tide. The other half is going to be an alien-based um, story. So I'm excited to that. And, and to see if maybe they cross over. Who knows? We'll see. 
And lastly, we are just hella busy here at the Knights of Horror getting a bunch of content ready for you. Uh, we just passed up Knots Week. If you guys were watching the channel all this week, we did a whole week of Knots coverage. Um, we are super excited to be coming back to Knots in 2021. And of course, the next week following is going to be Halloween Horror Nights Week with a special video uh, on Friday you guys do not want to miss. Uh, I think it's the first we've ever talked about this uh, event on the channel, so I'm excited to do that for you guys. But... <sighs> We have a great show for you guys today. Uh, Ernie from The Grave Fandom is here, and we cannot wait to bring him on. It is an in-studio podcast, which I was super excited about to do. Uh, but before that, we'll be right back with Ernie from The Grave Fandom after this quick commercial break. Established Apparel, available now. Click the link in the description to purchase your established t-shirt. Now back to the regular scheduled program. Madhouse Podcasting Network. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Miles for Podcast. Uh, it's been a while since we had another in studio, in person guest. Today, we are joined by Ernie, yes. the, the creator of the gray phantom how you doing man good how's it going it's good man we've had a happy to be here <laughs> we've had a, a nice uh, busy few couple of weeks both you and i yeah. uh awaken the spirits just wrapped up uh, last weekend as of this recording and it was a good weekend what do you think yeah i thought it was great i yeah. mean i was there just everywhere really trying to be back know, and forth yeah back and forth and yeah. try not to miss anything cool really. right i didn't get to do panels though but i mean <laughs> there's not a lot you can do on yeah that. Um, so not only do you do the, the Grey Phantom Haunt, but you actually have a little, um, a little business that you're running too. Yeah, we, uh, I got inspired to actually make a business this year, which was a Grey Phantom Designs. Right. Um, more or less, so that way, you know, it's the same name, so people can relate the two. Right. Um, and they'll know what, what, you know, they'll know like, oh, this is Ernie's and this is what he's doing. And, you know, it's not some random name where you're just like, oh, I don't even know who that is, you know? Yeah. Um... So it's still the same like Instagram too. So like you'll see this, the products on the Grey Phantom Experience page, but it's still the both like it's both of them pretty much. Right. So uh, you'll see updates for the Grey Phantom Experience, but you'll also see the updates for like the products we're selling. Um, it's cool though because I've used my 3D printing skills that I've learned over the past year and a half or so, and I've just decided to dive into that and. It started off really simple with just the skull planners that are pretty much like these 3D printed skulls that are different colors. And then I put some like succulent plants in them. And the first time around, I uh, I was at Halloween Depot when I started selling those. And it was only, I only had those. And it was like maybe 25 or 30 of them. And I ended up selling them. So it gave me a sign that was like, you no, know, there's, there's, you know, there's something here. There's something more than what, you know, just a simple, you know, for me, like 3D prints are not like, you know they're they're really cool and I like them a lot, but I mean there's more to them than just being a little object yeah. that's 3D printed. So I you know I went dove into it and you know I I said you know what I might as well do something with it and make it something you know that'll give me something to do that help me you know dive into being part more more part of the community and at the same time uh, you know give people something they can really enjoy and you know from from those little 3D plants uh, 3D uh, skulls I've branched out to making Michael Myers stuff I branched out to making uh, what else uh, Predator stuff because Predator is my favorite like sci-fi character love yeah. Predator man Predator is really the best Predator is dope uh, I started making those skulls and, and that's and that one thing led to another and that got me into molding again making molds of the Predator helmets because the Predator helmets were actually uh, the ones you see in the pictures that I post right. they're made of resin but I molded them from a 3D print so okay. I smoothed out the 3D print got right. it nice and neat and the cool part is I can adjust all the um, sizing so like I can make them like a full size one, I can make them the eight inch one, which is the ones that are right now. And the whole idea of the business for me is just uh, to pretty much give people something where they can put it on their desk. Mm -hmm. They can put it like on their shelf and it's not something that's like gonna take a whole shelf, you know? Right. So you could take it to work if by chance like you want to do those little like skull plants, you could put it on your desk and not have a like, not have too many people look at it. A little, little decoration, yeah, you little know? decoration, show yeah. your little, you know, spooky side, but at the same time, you know, uh, 
have something really really cool that's uh, like like the predator stuff and the michael myers stuff those are all hand painted by me nice and it's just getting better really we're just uh we're just growing and you know i've been lucky enough to meet you know really cool people that have uh you know helped me and persuaded me and sort of got me into that mindset where it's it's good to sell and it's good to branch out and you know just stay relevant really because that's right. really something important for everybody is just you know you can have a haunt but you know once the season's over you know a lot of people just are like oh, okay cool you know yeah see what you do yeah. next year <laughs> yeah pretty much yeah. and i've really really enjoyed you know doing it you know 3d printing is so much fun and it's yeah. it's once you learn it once you get the hang of it and you know how to work things you know it's a lot of fun to see what you can actually build from you know just that knowledge right and it's been great and you know i've i've, I've expanded from having one printer like in the beginning of uh let's say i don't know april of last year to i now i have like six printers wow and they're all different sizes like i have a big one that's like like 15 inches wide uh wow. platform uh there's a small one that's like only like maybe 10 inches wide so they all vary but when i when i did the event that just happened yeah they're all in full blast yeah all, yeah. all ready to go all Produ producing your pretty your much stuff. they're all producing um you know they're all at 100 percent just non-stop going through plastic and and you know i i literally stayed up until four the morning before just getting everything ready and then i had to wake up at six to get everything set up and go to the convention to pasadena yeah so it was a lot of labor of love really and i just uh it worked out and it was great and the the uh, amount of people that really enjoyed everything was fantastic so if you were one of those people thank you again for you know stopping by and supporting us and um if you're not uh i would say you know look into it i have the uh, great phantom experience instagram which is like i said is the uh ship itself which is the haunt but we also have the product stuff and we're also going to start shipping stuff so if you're interested in any of it let me know and we can definitely ship it to you if you're interested I think I'm going to have to give me some of the Predator and Michael Myers <laughs> stuff pretty soon, man. Yeah, and got, more to come. Got some, uh, I want to get some more, like you said, some desk decorations here. So when I'm editing, I can look at Predator or Michael Myers. Yeah, I think it'd be Go great. a little insane <laughs> and maybe have a conversation with them. You know how it is. Late night <laughs> editing, you go a little, you go a little cuckoo sometimes. Yeah. Um, that's awesome, man. I, I, I you know, because we saw your products first at, uh, at, like you said, Halloween Depot. Yeah. Uh, we were there with Trix helping her vend and stuff. But well, she's I, awesome, by the way. I love, yeah, we love she's Trix, fantastic. man. She's fantastic. Um, and, and, you know, we were there, uh, vending for her and then she told me that you were there. So I, I made it my mission to go see what you were selling and stuff. And then I saw a lot of the stuff on Instagram and then we saw you again, uh, at a corner booth in uh, at Awaken the Spirits, which was, yeah. was, was, was a lot of fun. Uh, you were right next to the Horror Nights stuff. So that mm -hmm. was, that was good. A uh, little good business move right there. You know <laughs> what I mean? Yeah. That was just a lucky, uh, draw of the cards, I guess. Yeah. Like I, I didn't ask for that, but it just yeah. happened to be that way. It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. It really worked. Yeah, that's awesome, man. So you have a lot of uh, awesome stuff. And I was going to ask you about how many 3D printers you had, and then you just brought it up like <laughs> six. And I was like, dang, man, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's something about 3D printing, though. It's 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 revolutionary, dude. It's, yeah. it's literally going to be the the future of, of, of designing things. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and a lot of people I know in the industry also will 3D print kind of rough drafts of their sculpts so they get an idea, okay, this is what it's going to kind of look like. Before Nowadays, start. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, before. Yeah, exactly. And... And it, it's it's just insane to see how far it's come since you know it's, it's debut. But yeah, luckily you know, off off or up like I've told everybody, it's like my best friend. That's where I found uh, half of my printers. And nice. That's the whole reason why I even bought a printer in the beginning is because I happened to see one on offer up, and I didn't. And it's funny because I just wanted to dive into it. Like I didn't know anything about it when I bought it. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how it worked. I didn't know. Uh, you know what well, if it was broken even that's, you know? that's, that's always a fun yeah. part is the learning curve of things you know yeah and I just bought it and I was like okay cool and the guy seemed cool about it and he was like yeah it works this is what this is this is what that is and I was like okay and I've seen the stuff that was printed before like on right. other pages or pictures whatever so it really you know from that point I was just like this is amazing I'm just gonna keep going and you know I went through different printers and I'm like, I like this one I don't like this one and it went you know it got bigger and you know different and um yeah, and I'm always willing to help people. If anybody gets into, like, 3D printing or whatever, let me know. I'm more than happy to answer questions or, you know, try to at least help you set up with one if uh, if you guys do decide to do that. Uh, again, you know, I'm just, I want to help and I want to be, you know, want to be there because I know I've been there where it's like, I don't know what's going on, you know, right. I don't know what happened. And, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so now they have resin printer too, like oh, resin wow. printers. Okay. So it's, it's 
10 times it's really different than what you know a regular 3d printer is mm -hmm. as far as it's a lot more hands-on just it's a lot more room for error is what right. it is for me at least so i tried it and it's cool because it's the same like it has a platform that dips into the resin itself which right. is that like liquid mm -hmm. but um the uv light flashes and makes patterns oh that's really cool so the uv light flashes like i don't know uh maybe once or once every like second or something right and it just builds up because the uv light reacts with the resin and when it does that it makes it a hard layer right so it hits it it hits it like every second and it starts making it when it starts pulling it up it starts you know forming into like whatever pattern or whatever you've mm -hmm. decided to make but they start off with like small ones and now they're getting bigger and bigger wow yeah it's but like yeah it's not for me though I, it's just too much because you have to have like a whole garage dedicated just to that you know yeah. and it's just like you have to have your own table with your own because you it's not as easy as 3d printing 3d printing once it's done you just take it off and you're ready to go you know, like it's mm -hmm. dry it's uh you can paint it right right off the bat no yeah. issues the resin is like oh you still have to throw it in alcohol and get it all nice and neat it's a, a little bit more steps yeah, to the process huh? more steps and then you know the um once it's in that alcohol you have to figure out what to do with the alcohol once it's like uh once you use it up, like after a month or so, and it has to go through like hazard stuff. And right. It's a bunch of stuff. I didn't like it, but I mean, it's they've been really cool with what they come out with. You know, yeah. like the amount of detailed prints that are coming out of it, like they're top notch. Like you can't, you can't make that with a 3D printer, a regular one. <laughs> so what's your, uh, what's your next, obviously with, you know, in the off season, you do the, you're doing the selling the, the amazing little artworks for your desk and stuff, which I love, little planners and stuff. That they look amazing. Oh, thank you. What What is your plans as far as uh, uh, conventions go now? Or now that you're heading towards more season, are you focusing more on the hot aspect of things now? Or are you kind of still? No, in the I'm background? still in both. Doing both. I'm still, I uh, one way or another, it'll work. But we're still doing a spook show, which I just got into. Right. So that's going to be at the end of September, September 25th. Right. Um, and then we're doing Creeper Rio, which is September 12th. Right. Which will actually have the preview of the ship. Okay. So the ship will be there. We'll be there selling t-shirts, as far as I know, um, you know, if everything works out. Uh, we'll have shirts there, which is something new that we haven't had available for people yet. Okay. So a lot of people, a few, a handful of people have asked me for them. So I'm going to bring just a handful of shirts and uh, if people are Do really, kind of like really, a little test run. Yeah. yeah. And if people are really, really interested, you know, I'll, buy, I'll get some more and we'll keep to going with that. Because during the haunt season, I was thinking about having a table in the front of the ship mm -hmm. and if people really wanted to get them you know we can do it that way too right um but so we have a uh, creeper reel we have a uh, spook show then we have uh the haunt season right. pretty much will be the ship and then in december we're doing season screamings right and that one will have more or less the entirety of the ship of whatever we built oh nice this time around you gonna give it like a little Christmas layover, or are you gonna uh, kind of just leave it as is? I'm not gonna say much, uh, not yet at least. Uh oh, we got a little. <laughs> we can't say, we can't say much, but I know it's gonna be great, and uh, I'm just uh, happy to say that you know we were invited there to. I'm excited to show see the it. ship, and yeah. and you know again this year around. Well, we'll wait for that. I'm not gonna say yeah, anything yeah. about that. Yeah, we'll save it. We'll, we'll bring we'll you back on prior to that. You know, when we get close to the event, we'll talk to Rick, and then. We'll see what he, he'll probably give us a little sneak peek, but not, not too much. You know, he's like, here's a little taste, but you have to go to the event to see the full, you know, um, that's cool though, man. I'm glad that you, you already got it all kind of planned up this season, man. Yeah. And uh, also, um, we also have, I'm thinking about doing the witch's brew night market. Okay. I might apply for that, but that's another thing too. So if you, that'll be in December. Yeah. So maybe by chance we'll do it and you guys can see us there too. For sure. I do have a lot of Krampus stuff that I'm getting ready. Ooh. It's just a matter of time. That's going to be cool. Yeah. It's going to be, be some be good. That'd be some good. So if you guys, uh, you see um, the Grey Phantom at any conventions here on out, especially come towards December, I'm just saying it's a good little stocking stuffer right there. Oh yeah. There's a, a, I'm, I'm, ex um, I'm pretty much just ready to you know i'm gonna have everything going yeah the printers are gonna be non-stop and i'm gonna have as much product as possible so the you know one of the last questions on the subject is how long you know when you're preparing for an event and stuff how long does it typically take to uh when when does production start and how long does it take to finally produce and paint everything till showtime uh that's a good question it really depends because the printers do need maintenance and they uh a lot of stuff uh 
it's hard. I'm not trying to discredit printers because they're great. Yeah. But a lot of times they'll fail. The prints will fail. Right. And that'll be after like four hours, five hours, ten hours. Yeah. You know? They will fail and I'll have to restart it and I'll have to go over again. So I try to start like I never stop really. I mean, that's one thing that I'm just trying to do. Like even after like I I continued printing even after the convention just happened. So right. this whole week and or so has been nonstop just the printers running. Just some going. Yeah, because I've learned because the thing about that is like before the conventions, they were needing maintenance and they were failing mm -hmm. and that was really a big step backwards for me because right. i was just like i needed as much product as possible and these guys were not working so i had to go back and forth and it was just a really weird coincidence but now they're fine like yeah. there's no <laughs> now they're yeah. perfect there's no issues with them it's it's, so, it's it's always when you need them the most that they are like they, they decide to like you know what yeah, I mean? yeah it's pretty like, much yeah. and it was a worst case scenario and i was just like that's why i bought a six one right because i wanted to make up for whatever i was losing and uh now the six one is on like the shelf for the moment because i'm not going to use it until i really need it right um but yeah it is I can't really tell you. All I can say is it's just a nonstop process where I'm going to keep making them and get and keep going with them because I know there's stuff coming up. Right. I don't want to be in that predicament where I'm just like... I the just, last minute yeah. you're trying to... Yeah. Yeah, because honestly, everything that I made for that convention that just passed, which was the Midsummer one, uh, I painted everything the night before. Oh, nice, man. And the night before... And it came out day, really well the, detailed, oh, thank too. You, thank you, thank you. The day before, pretty much the day before, not really the night, but I was up until the night. Yeah. But the day before the convention, I had enough to say, okay, well, this is what I'm doing, and let's yeah. just start going. So, um, like, the Predator helmets were cool because I can airbrush those, too, so that I don't have to... The cool thing about the Predator helmets, which is something I haven't really disclosed, unless you're actually, like, there in mm -hmm. person, is when I mold them, I powder in metal powder. That's cool. So, when I pull them out, that's exactly how they look. Wow. So like the gray color, the copper color, the gold color, yeah. that's all real metal powder that's infused into the that helmet. Is, that is really bitching right so, there. Uh, so all I really do after that, which makes it pretty cool, is I just literally just need to paint on the details mm -hmm. and then seal it in and it's good. Yeah, because you also, by. on some of them you add the, the green blood too, don't you? On one of them I did. Yeah, and, that, and that, that was looked new. really cool. Yeah, and that, yeah. that one sold right away. Yeah. So that's another thing where I'm like, that's going to be my... That's going to be another be top one. seller, yeah. Yeah, that's the one I have to really focus on because yeah. I, um, I had it in mind to do that, but mm -hmm. I just hadn't had the chance to actually do it because... Uh, I was still those all like most more or less like I'd only I had made a handful of helmets right and this time around I said okay I'll make like maybe four more mm -hmm. and they did sell like that's they good. were really good seller like at Halloween Depot not so much mm -hmm. but uh, that's just how selling goes I guess like sometimes it's hit or miss areas yeah yeah different areas like people at Halloween Depot love the Red Skulls yeah like literally sold out every time this so time, now, now you know <laughs> you kind of know your audience is at different areas you know what I yeah, mean yeah this time around like I was left with like six of them so yeah. I'm just like that was random. Uh, but yeah, everything pretty much, if I can paint it and I have time, I'll paint it. But a lot of times, just like the haunt, like last year, it was more of a last minute, just push. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, let me think about it the whole year. And, you know, yeah. I mean, no, no, you know, not trying to say anything bad about anybody that does that. Cause that's the right thing to do. Yeah. But for me, it's just more of like, if I feel a little bit of pressure behind me, I'll, I'll push yeah. and I'll go for it. I like to leave it that way so that way I'm more focused and I know what I need to do. Right. Because if I leave it, if I start doing it, like I get lazy and I start to focus on like, 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 like this time mm -hmm. I have my business. I was, I started because I wanted to do something different. Yeah. Um, and other stuff too, like other random stuff that I've done throughout the year. It's just like, I'd rather, it works better for me to just be like, okay, well, cut off time is now and now it's just haunt. Right. So just push through it. Last year we started. For the haunt, we started as late as like September, like 16, 17, 18. Mm -hmm. Like we started at that point and we just pushed through it every day. Like every day, me and my mom, my dad, uh, and my brother were just working outside a lot little of time. Little by little, yeah. Yeah. And you know, it's funny because they didn't even know the vision. Like they right. knew what I was doing. But until I put up the walls in front of like for the ship, they're like, oh, now I see it. So were you kind of yeah. just kind of in the town and like, okay, just kind of, you know, paint this and get this done. Pretty and then, much. And then, you know, as, as it started going up, they kind of started seeing, oh, so this is what we're doing kind yeah. of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, they finally, you know, once I got those walls up, which are the ship walls. Right. 
they hit them and they seen it from the street and they're just like oh this is exactly you know this is amazing blah yeah. blah whatever and but before that i started off with all the rooms so uh, pretty much all we were doing was putting up curtains and you know setting up the walls mm -hmm. and uh finding you know what to use as far as wood and um so yeah so again we started really late so this year around or this time around I'm hoping to start like at least by September 1st. So that okay. Way. It gives us a little more time. Gives us more like about a month to, to kind of get it going, you know? Well, we're trying to shoot uh, something that I haven't discussed yet. We're trying to shoot for October 10th. Open, okay. So which yeah. would be a, the Sunday. Right. So that'll be like our dry run pretty much just to see how everything goes. Right. And then from that point on, we'll have the weekends and go forth as that. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't seem like a lot, but at the same time, I... I'm spacing it out like I'm limiting the number of people like I'm hoping that we can limit the number of people that come mm -hmm. because we're actually setting up now we're going into the haunts <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> no it's a good about. transition yeah. no it was a very good transition um, so now we're going into ticketing system because we just want to make sure we can control people right as far as who comes um, because of the whole COVID situation I, it's our house we don't want to mm -hmm overpopulated we don't want people in like neighbors driveways right and, you know it is a house again you know it's not like a big production it's not a it's not a warehouse unfortunately not yet at least not but, yet hey i, I <laughs> like i like where you're going though you got a but, vision though man that's good but it's uh we're doing what we, we're, we're working with what we can and right we're, so we have a ticketing system which would be an event bright that's already set up it just nice. has to be released um and there will be a limited number of people that are can get tickets that's good so this time around it will be very limited. Right. I don't, I hate to be that way, but it just has to no, be. No, I mean, it, but like yeah. you said, it's your house. It's, you know, there's, there's COVID going on. It's there's just, COVID it's, it's safer and, for everyone. You know what I mean? And I don't want the neighbors to have any issues. Right. Yeah. Because I played it by year last year and things went okay. Yeah. But this year, if you're going to add in like sound effects. Walk and through and everything. Walk yeah. through and people screaming, you know, right. it could be annoying. So yeah. I don't want to push into that. Yeah. Um, especially if we're going to be doing the whole ticketing system and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But um yeah it's 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 a big step but i think that's the right step you know right again i apologize for anybody that wants to come and can't get a ticket to come if it does come to that point mm -hmm. um because i don't know who know we might sell out we might not who knows right but if it comes to that point you know i apologize it's just not nothing personal it's just we just have to yeah we have to monitor we have to you know just play it by ear and just go a smooth steady pace yeah um, I don't even know if we're going to do anything for Halloween, like just the amount of, because every Halloween before last year, cause last year was really dead because right. of the whole COVID situation. Right. Um, every year before that though, we've always had a line going to the side and all that. Cause everybody's out and about mm -hmm. everybody around this, uh, whatever the, um, everybody around like the area happens to pass by, they come and check yeah. it out. And when we used to do mazes in the past, which were like different mazes, mm -hmm. Um, this is way before we started advertising because I started advertising uh, for the ship. Right. Uh, but before that, we didn't advertise. We just mm -hmm. had our mazes and we did whatever and it was fun and we just let it go. Um, but before that, we did have huge lines of people just trying to get in um, and, you know, just wanting to see the maze, which was cool. But it's just not something we should do again. <laughs> yeah, you're like, you kind of look hoping... at it and you're just like, ah, uh, well. Like, yeah. It's, and... it's, you know, it's a lot of fun. The community comes out. And, no, it is great. Uh, and... You know, most of the time they are respectful. But I, I do like the whole ticketing system. I think a lot of people are going to feel at ease, especially with, yeah. with COVID and stuff. You know, so. I again, like I said, it's just something I think is the best option in this scenario. Especially, right. uh, we have got some traction going behind us now with like having it last year. Mm -hmm. and people recognizing us and knowing and you know people really wanting to dive into the whole queen mary aspect and you know they didn't get that you know last year they right. got it this year right um so you know that's sort of the void i'm trying to you know cover with people is like i want to bring them back to the ship and right you know i want to bring them to the experience into the experience that mm -hmm. i had you know being on the ship and you know working there and enjoying it so much you know there's all there's for me, you know, another thing about the ship this year, which, uh, like I said, I haven't disclosed a lot yet, mm -hmm. but I mean, we're getting close enough to the point where I want people to know, be more transparent. Right. Um, it's not going to be a humongous maze. It really isn't. It's going to be more than likely three or four rooms. Okay. But in my mind, uh, quality beats quantity. Exactly. It really does in my, in, in my maze at mm -hmm. least. So the rooms themselves will be as detailed as possible. They're going to be, uh, I'm going to shoot to, to make them uh, based off of rooms in the Queen Mary if, uh, uh, as much as I can. 
uh, just like last year. Last year, the uh, hallway was a replica of, of the infirmary hallway. Right. Um, the hotel room was something sort of based off of something you would see in the inside of the ship. Like B340 or yeah. something, yeah. And then the... Um, you had like a lounge area too, kind of, right? Somewhat. Yeah, yeah it, it, had, like it, had its, be... it had its own fireplace right. and all that stuff. Um, and then, you know, the boiler room's a boiler room. Right. And it's funny because the boiler room itself, uh, which I told people when they went to go see it, it's based on the Queen Mary, but it's also based uh, lighting-wise on the um, Tower of Terror. Oh, nice. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So the lighting was Tower of Terror. The sound effects was Tower of Terror. Nice. Um, and it just fit in perfectly with that whole aspect of like right. the boiler room. Um but yeah, pretty much it's not going to be a big maze. It will be detailed though. It will have scare actors. Okay. And it will have uh, the projections that everybody loves so much. And uh, those are fantastic. We're gonna... By the way. They <laughs> Thank really you. were. They um they will be incorporated in different ways. They're not going to be just as flat, a flat just you know shot on the wall. Right. You know there will be, the way I'm thinking of it, there will be some in the roof. There will be some, coming out of places that you don't think of. Um, so it's going to be good. I don't want to give away too much, but, you know, just with the whole scare actor aspect, that's a big, big you know, that's a big, that's year, a, yeah. yeah, it's a whole other, just, you yeah. know, another area that we're going to cover. And I have some good scare actors lined up uh, and I have some good just ideas. And we're also going to do something very special, uh, TikTok related. Oh, nice. So there will be something going on with that. Uh, I'll release it once we get closer. Right. Um, but the the ship will be alive this year. It will it will be something more than just a haunt. And you know, it's 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 cool that you're you're doing something like this because, like you said, a lot of fans of like Queen Mary's Dark Harbor. The last two years, we were obviously we got confirmation we're not getting it this year. You know, we didn't have it last year because of COVID. Um, so you're really for the people who really love that haunt, I and especially myself. When I went last year, and it was just, you know, like you said, you just kind of, it was like a yard display, but it still was freaking one of the best yard displays I saw that season. Um, I appreciate it. And it really did feel like being back on the Queen Mary again. It gave me those vibes, and I really liked I that. So. Yeah. Um, even, like you said, like, without the characters last year, like, it was, it was freaking phenomenal effects-wise and, mm -hmm. and everything. Just to see it lit up yeah. at night, it looked awesome, dude. So I, I cannot wait to see... Uh, a lot of those rooms come to life now and, and just yeah. and, and get more in, immersed into that story. Uh, we do know that uh, at Awaken the Spirits, you did give us a little teaser trailer yeah. uh, as to um, some stuff that we can expect uh, this uh, season. Yeah, it was more of just a teaser trailer. Yeah. Um, like a lot of, like I said, we don't have a lot built yet because I try to keep things right. a little bit closer. Um, but once we do get things built, like I'm saying, we'll have that TikTok, which will expose a lot more. Right. Um, I don't want to give away too much because I, you know, it's a, it's a fresh idea that I really want to expand yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Um, but there is a lot to see, and there's a lot of ideas there that I'm just gonna, like, room wise, keep moving them around. So I'm like, oh well, maybe I want it in the back. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, let's put it in the end, and yeah. you know, blah blah, whatever. Um, so there's a lot going on, and I'm just really happy with the turnout of people that you know, just the amount of people that have been interested. Right. And you know, I had only made it just as a display, like no different than the years before. Right. Like I didn't think it was going to be whatever it is, you know, now, which is like people really enjoy it, and I was, you know, I was invited on that panel, which is something I would have never thought. That happen. was awesome. That was a good panel. It was, dude. It was I, really good. There's a ton I, of great people. I sadly couldn't see it in person, but I, however, I did see a lot of film of it, and I was so mad that I had a. I freaking didn't make it on time, but <laughs> it was such a good panel. Just just hearing everyone's excitement, you yeah. know what I mean? That they can actually do walkthrough attractions this year, and yeah. and just kind of the you know what you know talking about what they have for this season. Like a lot of great uh, home haunters out there were on that panel, including yourself, man. And they it was cool that uh, Midsummer Scream this year actually took the time to take two days and and give the home haunts the respective um, time that they deserve because. I, I said we say it time and time again on the channel. If it wasn't for you guys last season, there would be no Halloween. Uh -huh. You know, there 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 was literally nothing really to do, and a lot of the yard displays, um, shows, uh, some walkthrough attractions in the home haunt industry was just phenomenal, and it's it's what saved and kept the spirit of Halloween alive last year. Well, I I appreciate you saying yeah. that. I mean, in general, like. I'm not taking credit for myself either. Like I, I enjoyed the other homes I seen. Right. Like that was like, it's cool because last year was the first year I got to actually go out and see other people's stuff. Mm -hmm. Like before that, like I was so busy doing the other years that I just never got to it. And yeah. uh, 
I didn't know a lot of them existed. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it's like, oh, no, this place here, and then this place, and whole house, and uh, which is in Buena Park. And yeah. I'm just like, I, I Apparently, I, I had heard there's going to be another one in Norwalk showing up pretty soon. Another what? Another haunt. Hmm. I, I heard, I heard, uh, I heard about that at Waking the Spirit, so I'm like, damn, Norwalk's getting the representation it deserves, man. I'm like, that'll be mine also. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> the branch. There you go. Yeah, we're just doing haunts everywhere. Yeah. Now. No, no but, but I haven't heard of it. I, I'm excited if that's the case. Yeah, that know. means we have uh, more. That, that means we're gonna put we're gonna put Norwalk on the map again. You know yeah. what I mean? We, um, um, I mean, like I said, you know, it would be great if I could find. I mean, I love Norwalk, but it'd be yeah. great if I could find somewhere bigger. Just yeah, so. yeah. Because you know, sad to say, guys, but parking sucks. Oh, a, a de- it's a neighborhood, but yeah. But this time it's worse, yeah. like comparing to last year. Yeah. There's a ton more cars. Um, I am working on parking, though, so I did think about, like, people visiting. Mm-hmm. So there is spots down the street that I'm going to see if I can work with, mm-hmm. so that way you guys will have parking. Right. Um, because there's just no way that if I, like, you know, let's say we sell, like, I don't know, 50 tickets, mm-hmm. there's no way those cars are going to be able to, you know, exactly, find spots yeah. and whatever, and... Um, so yeah, so I'm working on it. We're gonna see what we can do. We've not. I, I haven't took it. You know, I I have taken it into consideration. Um, Only so, we can get a good deal at the school down the street. We'll just park them in the freaking field. You know what I mean? Kind of like yeah, a little event something, parking. Something that's not too far. Yeah. Um, but also, you know, it's a decent enough walk to where like it's it's okay. You know, yeah. it's not a big deal. But um. No, I I, I dude I. I I remember we had a conversation the night I went to the haunt, and it was something that. Uh, Throughout the season, I had keep I kept seeing Instagram posts about it, people taking pictures, people sharing stuff, and I'm like, "Where is this?" And I saw it was in Norwalk. I was like, "Dude, that's right down the street from me." And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. "This is awesome!" Like I I never seen a lot of like home hunts around here, so I went down for the night and uh, we we checked it out, and I I was just like I said, blown away of how it looked. Um, and, and another cool thing you were doing is you were handing out like little kind of tickets. Yeah, that was a lot of fun to see those. You know what I mean? I like, love. I love mod- like editing stuff like that, like right. just uh, pictures or, or making stuff like that. Honestly, it's just I love making stuff. Yeah, it's that simple. Like I just if I can find a way to do something, I'll do it. Um, Doctor Frankenstein, right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean that being said, the video, the trailer video that's out right now. Right. Big shout out to Real Family Adventures. Yes, we love them. Uh, he's uh, Daniel was the one that made that for me. Right. So I've, this is the first time I've actually had someone else help me with something Come on like the that. outside and help yeah. out. Yeah. And he was he was fantastic. And he uh, he shot the video of the the new stuff that I added in. And mm-hmm. He even shot the video from last year. So like the, the ship and all that you see right. is actually his video. Right. So a big shout out. I couldn't, you know, none of that would have been possible without him, you know, being around and, you know, being good friends and being as nice as he is. And his family is fantastic. And, yeah. Um, um, it's just more to come. Like he's uh, he's he's ready to go, and you know we're gonna we're gonna pop out some more videos eventually. And it's coming soon. Yeah, stay tuned. Soon. Follow the Great Phantom Experience <laughs> on uh, Instagram. Now, let me open this window real quick. It's starting to get freaking hot in here. I turn on AC and fan, but it's just gonna to mess up the mess up yeah. the audio, and the, the blackout curtains will be okay. <laughs> the curtains. Um, um, there's gonna be, like that's the cool part. So you don't ever. I don't even know what's going to happen mm-hmm. as far as that goes. Like, everything is somewhat just like, oh, it's so one day I think of something or they yeah. something different. Um, the tickets were cool. I might bring them back this year. I might not, depending on if they're, you know... It really depends. Like, if I really think people are really going to want them again, I'll do it again. Mm-hmm. But uh, uh, there's just so much going on. Like, the T-shirts is something that I might be replacing those with, you know? Right. Because the T-shirts are a lot more, you know, wanted, and people will want to get them. Oh, definitely. Um... Along with that, there's this, there's a lot, there really is, and there's so much to explain, but, you know, there's, uh, like I said, things change so rapidly yeah. around, you know, this stuff like this. Um, Production-wise, we, I have my own storage unit, nice. uh, so we're just piling up what we can, and the ship is still intact. Okay. It is, it is still, you know, I still have everything, so right. we're, you know, it's not too, we shouldn't be too far off as far as building-wise. Mm-hmm. But again, things did go up this year, so we're yeah. just we're playing it by ear, and we're just seeing what we can do. And right, um, I'm just looking like it's been so cool just seeing antique stuff, like antique dressers and antique like grandfather clocks, and I want to get everything. Yeah. I really do. You go to a lot of you grab... go you go to a lot of like thrift sh- stores and stuff to look well, for kind of stuff like that or antique no, stuff. No, just offer up. Offer up. I'm just because offer up is my main thing that I go to for everything. Offer up is legit. Yeah, dude. it really is, and yeah. a lot of times you can find stuff for free. 
Um, that's what I'm saying. You look around everywhere, and, and it's all local stuff too. Usually, yeah. so it's it's it's, it's not a far yeah. Drive I mean, or even at that, even if it is a little far, sometimes it's worth the drive. Yeah, you, know, you don't want to miss out on like a clock. Or it's gonna be it's gonna be a prop that you'll use for years. You know yeah. what I mean? So well, I mean, the cool part is uh, that jukebox in the trailer is my dad's jukebox that he's had for years. Nice. <laughs> so it's just something that you know we had there, like oh, it fits perfect. We should mm -hmm. do it, and uh, we made it that we put it together and made the video that way, and. Um, it's gonna be great. It really is. Um, another thing I need to bring up is uh, there. There may be a pricing this year. Um, it will be extremely low though. Mm -hmm. So in case it does show up, like ticket wise, it's it's just part of you know. It's part of so just yeah, having it's that. Yeah, part whole, of growing, man. That's just, you yeah. Know, it's, it's not. It's not because we're trying to get money. It's just the fact. To keep you know the upkeep and yeah stuff like that i'm trying to oh, and i had heard together. this year too a lot of like lumber and stuff had really went yeah. up in price so you know it, it's, yeah, it's lumber nails screws. And, and you know rick west said that too like a lot of the times when a lot of people build these haunts like it, it, it is a very like people spend thousands and thousands sometimes tens of thousands of dollars to build yeah. these things and a lot of them do them for free you know yeah. what i mean they'll, they'll accept donations or whatnot but i mean listen you're gonna charge people like I don't even like I I will support it because I want to see it return every year mm -hmm. and I want to see it come back and and okay maybe he's got an idea that to, to do something bigger next year yeah and with you know a lot of the you know the ticket funding and stuff he he can put the money back into the ship to make a better experience for people to come next year you know yeah. what I mean yeah I mean in my mind let's again like I said it's in the work in progress right I'm not gonna say if it's gonna happen or not right but, um, in my mind it's mostly just to keep up with stuff it's not it's not for the ship it's not for like to advance me in any mm -hmm. way or anything like that um but uh, it is more or less just to you know give us a little bit more to work with as far as like feeding our cast right and, uh, keeping the lights on and making yeah. sure you know making sure we can afford different stuff like that you yeah, know? yeah so it's mostly just like i said if it does happen it's going to be an extremely low you know number like right. extremely low so it won't even be like it's something that i wouldn't even mind like throwing you know if that was yeah if it came up to that as far as like if i was going to a haunt right um so just keep that in mind uh but at the same time it will limit the people that do come so mm -hmm. that way we don't have like hundreds of people wanting to get in and right. all that it will limit like we'll be able to control it we'll limit it and we may be able to just not have as many people like crowding there you know right because that's the thing like i want to keep everybody safe i want to keep everybody i want to give everybody a good experience to the point where it's not as they say like a conga line where everybody's mm -hmm. like a line going in line going out right like i want to just cut it down to the point where people will have the best experience they will be able to enjoy the ship for like i said quantity uh over quantity where the mm -hmm. point where they'll be able to see the like the the amount of details the amount of uh sets that we have in there and just how they're incorporated with the actors right and uh that's just my main goal really it's all i have in mind is just okay this room is going to be this way um what are they going to see how are they going to see it um can we soundproof it so it doesn't bother the neighbors mm -hmm. um and so, so all this stuff you already kind of taking you already taking in consideration getting ready for yeah construction there's and stuff. a lot of stuff going on as far as in my mind it's yeah. just like i said we we need to do Cooper Reel first, so that's like literally I'm gonna build another ship, like separately from mm -hmm. what I'm actually building. Right. It'll have the frame in front, but the insides will be a quick walkthrough. Okay. So uh, just kind of like a little sneak preview. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. So one thing about Creeper Reel, uh, going back to that, we will have a walkthrough. It will be the ship. It will be probably half of the ship. Okay. But we will have scare actors in it. Awesome. We will be in the front uh, advertising as well. We'll have shirts available more than likely, like I was saying. And the uh, just, you know, talk to us. We'll give you more information there. The tickets might even go on sale on that day. Mm -hmm. So if people are interested, uh, I'll keep you guys updated as far as, like, if the sales do go online. Yeah. Uh, so that way you guys can grab uh, whatever day you want. Early, <clears throat> Kind of like the early bird special, you know what I mean? In Pretty a way. much, yeah. yeah. Early bird special. And, again... Uh, another thing I want to mention is that masks are always going to be required. Yeah, that's a that's not a negotiation with me at all. Like that's yeah, it's no, gonna I, happen I, and... I I completely hundred percent agree with you. I'd rather yeah. everyone be and all all the other haunts are doing it. So why not you? You know what I mean? It's yeah, like, I mean it's and it's for safety and yeah, for both it's the not actors, nothing personal. It's just that's yeah. what has to be done. It's it's at someone's house. Well, it's at yeah, you're yeah. At, you want to you're at someone's house. You want to you know respect their rules and yeah, respect the property and whatnot. So so just you know if you guys do buy a ticket. 
or if you guys do get a ticket, I should say, like like I said, I don't know yet. Mm -hmm. um, just make sure you have your mask available and you wear them at all times while you're on property. It's that simple. And we, you know, if by chance you don't want to do that, then I we can't help you. You can't get in. It's that yeah. simple. It's, just, it's, it's the rules of the haunt right there, man. Yeah. And you know what? It's not like you're going to be wearing it the entire, you know, like the you know for a long time it's literally a walkthrough to go through you'll check it out and after you guys leave the property you're more than welcome to walk away and take off your mask you know what i mean it's like <laughs> yeah it's, it's a like, simple like what it's, it's gonna be like exactly, 10 minutes exactly so. it's, it's not, not even that be... long trust me i yeah. wore it for a whole weekend at awaken the spirits and and i was <laughs> sweating but i was bearing through because i loved exactly what it was going on there so it didn't even bother me yeah. Um, you know what? Like I said, all the all the major haunts are doing it this year. Yeah. You know what? It's just it's we want to get a control about of COVID and we want to hopefully get better, get it away and stuff so we can actually open up and. Yeah, because I know. mean we don't want to mess it up for like season screaming. Exactly. We want to go. Yeah. And that's gonna be three days. Yeah. So we're gonna be so that's gonna be great just to go and. Exactly. You know I'm even hoping to sell there really like yeah, I yeah. want to expand and do both. Exactly. <laughs> I want to have the ship there. I want to have my scare actors there. You're but I also want to. <laughs> You're gonna be bouncing back and forth yeah. between halls, man. It's gonna be interesting for sure, and yeah. you know, uh, we'll just see how it goes. But you know, again, I I want to say thank you to all the people that did you know come last year yeah thank you for all the people that have added us on instagram already and right. have, have kept us growing did you get a lot of uh people that checked checked you out and followed you after this last weekend yeah yeah, yeah. you know um the channel five interview helped oh uh, nice yeah. good for you man so that, that did really good i was really excited about that yeah. and you know it's just it's funny because one of my friends has happened to be watching channel five and he's seen us so he started recording and he showed there you me go, there you go so that was just a random just him happened to watch That's channel good. five hey man know him and they always say any publicity is good publicity yeah you know what i mean so. it was great and uh we did get a good amount of people that added us over the weekend right and we're still expanding uh with that as far as that um as far as followers go um i know and i even you know I started, like I said, I started TikTok. Mm -hmm. That just has like different, like at the moment, it just has different videos of like, oh, the the, the planners that I make, right? And, uh, stuff like that. So it's nothing, you know, big yet. But uh, it's another way to kind of advertise the stuff. Yeah, yeah I so. mean, if people are looking for it, they'll find it there. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, I'm st and like I said, we're trying, we're trying to uh, branch out and, and sell stuff like the ship. So we should, so we'll be able to ship like the skull planners if you're interested. We'll also be able to ship like any of the other stuff that we sell too, like I the predator helmets and all that. I could tell you this, man. Me, I'll be there. My buddy Hotline will be there. We'll all get it. Get his it hair, up there. His, his hair, hair right? Perfect. His his. I love his hair, man. The guy is uh, he. Every time we see him, we're like, we're not worthy of your presence, man. You just <laughs> you're so you're so good at all this stuff, and you make us look like rookies. Oh. <laughs> um, but no, it, we'll we'll all be there to help you uh, cover the event, get the word out this year, and and you know that way we can go. If, you know, we'll be there opening night. That way we can get it and people can go check it out throughout the season, man. Oh, yeah, no, it's going to be great. That, that's what we want to help you do, um, man, is help you expand it, help you grow it, and get an audience for you out there. I That's all I can ask. I mean, I'm yeah. not, like I said, I'm doing it because I love the Queen Mary. Right. I loved being there. It made me feel like, before, before I started with the Dark Harbor and all that, um, I didn't really, I took the ship for, for granted mm -hmm. and I didn't think of it much as other than, you know, just another spot. Yeah. But once I was there, once I, you know, was there every night and I, you Especially know, with a lot with them going on hearsay within the last two years of that ship, you yeah. know what I mean? It's like, it's starting to get a little depressing now. It has been, um, but I have high hopes that I it do will too. come back. I have uh, a lot Eventually. Of Not, you know, probably another five years, but yeah. eventually. Yeah. Um, but just being there and seeing the ship for its, what it is and it's beauty and in history. It, yeah. Yeah. Being able to go on it, like, you know, before Haunt started, right. uh, like, you know, the month before, uh, going for orientation, all that kind of stuff. Like, it was just so, so jaw-dropping and so inspirational to be on something like that. And it's, it's the little things that you, you think about that you, like, you really, you take for granted and miss, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, exactly, like, I know exactly like, how you feel. Like, I, I just... I, I missed out. I, I only got to go in 2019, and now I'm like I want to keep going back, and it's like I hope I can keep going back in the future, and I'm I'm keeping my high hopes up, and yeah, that's all we it's, can do at this point, you know. You know, being there, seeing it, and it makes you feel like, especially if you're there every night, right? You feel some type of connection. Like mm -hmm. I'm not trying uh, to say that there's a ghost connection, but more or less, it's just like a at home, like yeah. very comfortable feeling that you're there. Yeah. You're there with, uh, you know, especially, especially if you have your friends around, if you have your cast members, right? Uh, you have other people, you know, just in general. Like it was so fun, it was fun. It was very, 
refreshing. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of uh, a lot of walking, but it also was just great to be able to be there every night right. and see it for what it is, and you know, being part of something that's actually really haunted. You know that you can't yeah. really say that about like Knott's or as uh, Universal. I mean, it's probably exactly. spots that are there. Haunted, probably but, it's yeah, but but like, you know, it's just the ship itself and. Uh, all I can say is, uh, you know, with all the work and all the effort at the end of the day, I just hope that people can uh, get that same feeling once they walk into the ship that they would get down there. As You know, I know it's not going to be perfect as far as that, but it will be, I'm putting all my energy and effort into making it as nice as possible. And, I, you know, it's mostly just because, like I said, I want people to enjoy the ship again. And right. it's nothing, you know, nothing selfish, nothing, I'm not trying to advance myself. Uh, I just want to, you know, give people a good time right. and give them that experience that they may be missing, like I'm missing every day, pretty exactly. much. Um, I know a whole group of sliders that are missing <laughs> it too, trust me. Yeah, they are, uh, I, I know a ton of people that are still missing it and, you know, all I can say is I, I'm going to do my best to bring that back and this year we have a bigger palette to work with right. and um, it's pretty much all the ideas that I want to do last year, mm -hmm. but because of COVID, we were sort of just like, no, we'll play it safe. Right. But this year it's a little bit, you know, a little and, bit And different. we were talking about that too when I went last year. Like I originally had the idea of making it a walkthrough attraction, but because of COVID, yeah. you know, I made it what it was. And it still, like I said, came out fantastic. Everyone was talking about it and heard a lot yeah. of buzz about it and, and you know, and a it, lot you of know, people liked it too. I, yeah. I mean, yeah. I was just such a big, just... It, it expanded onto such a good, you know, turnout of people that I was just mm -hmm. so, so proud of it. And I still am so proud of it. You know, I, I, the amount of work we put into it, my family put into it, my friends came and helped me. Um, and just, you know, the adventure itself, the journey that I went through mm -hmm. from point A to point, you know, Z or whatever. Right. It's just like, it was such an adventure. And this year will be double that. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to, you know, we'll, we'll do what we can and. I'm going to give everybody as much as possible, you know, as if, if there's something, uh, again, if there's some, I don't know how to explain it, but there's just so much that I want to give and so much I want to ideas that I want to expand on as far as room rise, as far as details and, yeah. um, projections too. Like that's another different, totally different thing. Like you have to figure out where to put them, right. how to put them, where they can fit, where they can't fit. And it's, uh, it's so, going to be another journey. Here's yeah. another question, too. I don't know if you can answer this, if you're ready to answer this or not. But is the floor plan going to be a little bit bigger, a little bit extended? Or is it going to be somewhat in the same spot, too? Or are you just kind of extended to where you're at? Oh, no. It's going to be... It's going to go back. In the back? Oh, it's going to go... So it's going to go further yeah. a little bit then. It will be a full-on... Yeah. Like, the, it will not just be the what you seen last year. Yeah. It will be going into the back. Oh, okay. So we will have an additional, like, 90 feet. That, so that, that ship, though, will be the essential facade yes. where you see and... But you will be walking... Walking through it. And, yes. Yeah. So it'll be the facade. It'll be pushed forward. Right. And there will be an opening in the front where you'll walk into. Oh, nice. At the front of the ship. And then when you... Uh, we will have an additional... Let me get this out of your way. Oh, no, you're fine. <laughs> I felt like it was slipping little by little. I was like, <laughs> I don't want him to get uncomfortable. But, uh, yeah, it's, so it's, so you're going to have so, an extended floor pan for this then. Oh, yeah. So that's why it's going to be, like, double. Yeah. Like, um... We, where we have an additional 90 feet of space that we're going to use. Right. So that's going to be uh, pretty much the bread and butter of the actual maze. Right. And then we'll swing around and we'll come back to the front. And then uh, where the main gate is, it will be the exit. Okay. So it'll pretty much be sort of like a U-turn, but a right. really big U-turn. That'd be a lot of fun, um, man. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, like I said, you know, uh, quali quality over quantity. Like, yeah. We won't be humongous, but it will be. But that gives us the room to actually make it really detailed. And I mean, honestly, that's what people go to for the ship. Yeah, they don't go for the like, like it's the stories they've yeah. heard in the over the years, and you want to see a lot of the history. They want to see the history. They want to see like the woodwork, the uh, yeah, the details, the giant yeah. details. Um, people go to the ship because of that, you yeah. know. And when you add in the rest of it, that's what makes it. Mm -hmm. But more or less, that's what you have to focus on if you're trying to make some type of tribute to the Queen Mary or right. whatever. It's just like it's details mm -hmm. it's really what you have to bring out and um it's just it's gonna be fun it really is it, it, it's gonna be a great time i yeah, really I hope wait. like i said i really hope we can work out like the parking and the crowding and all that stuff uh you know more details to come but we are everything is being thought about i got high hopes man it's gonna be yeah. it's gonna be a good year man and and you know 
I, I know part of me last year wanted to, a little selfish part of me wanted to walk through the ship already. So <laughs> I'm excited we get to do that this year. Yeah, I um, was able. You know, I did show people the back of it, but there's nothing exciting in the back. Yeah, <laughs> it was just tarps and just tarps, whatever, just kind of yeah. You know, wood and that's it. But, but uh, it, it is it is a, it was a lot of fun this year, and I can't wait to see the the story come to life and you know hear the. You, Obviously, we're going to get a story told, and I'm excited to see yeah, that. Yeah, and we'll know? have a story this year, yeah. and we'll have, uh, like I said, we're going to have some really interesting stuff going on on TikTok. Right. We're going to have some uh, more story-driven, just, you know, the title of the ship this year is The Boogeyman is Here. Yeah. And that's legit, legitimately what it's going to be. Nice. So he will be there, and there will be... You'll see a preview at Creep Wheel. Okay. So I don't want to give away too much, because this video is probably going to come out before that. Yeah. But... <laughs> But it's okay. See, now the boogeyman's already here. You know what I mean? He was like, we're going to make a little appearance in the podcast. But there is just so much, um, you know, you sort of have to draw the line to of what you really want. Yeah. As far as like, you want it to be Dark Harbor Queen Mary related, but at the same time, you want to sort of make Put it. Put your own spin on it. You yeah. So I mean? you don't yeah. want to go too far and be like, oh, well, this is only about this guy now. And, yeah. You know, the Queen Mary doesn't exist and blah, blah, and all that. So, so we're, we're drawing the line and we're going to make it as 50 50 as we can but we also want to bring something new to the table um along with the scare actors so it's gonna be they've been fun. yeah it's been great and i'm excited and you know again um follow my page you're gonna see updates about the um ship you're also yeah. gonna see updates about the product plug it all in man i want them to, i want them to follow you <laughs> go to get to know where you're at and everything uh, um, instagram is uh the great phantom experience great phantom experience and then what are you on tiktok uh tiktok same thing great, great phantom, phantom experience, experience. Um, we have that and uh, what else? Is there anything else? Twitter, YouTube, no? No, YouTube. Twitter, I mean, uh, no Twitter, but YouTube, yes, but it's not focused on the ship. Okay. So it's other, like, different, like, uh, different stuff. Personal, like, uh, collections. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so nothing, nothing ship related, but uh, yeah, my main one is Instagram. So Instagram definitely, and, and uh, TikTok. Those yeah. are going to be the ones. Especially uh, ones. later on down the line when they get close to the event. Uh, you were talking about the TikTok, so. It's going to be get... a big staple yeah. and. Uh, what we're trying to do and uh it's going to be very interesting to see what comes out of it right because it's something that i haven't seen people do yet mm -hmm. uh as far as what you know in general the idea is to bring the ship alive more than through social media and everything yes. yeah it's going to be its own thing it's not right. going to be a haunt anymore it's not going to be uh something um that's just someone made it's mm -hmm. going to be its own like real ship yeah so we'll be something life. cool yeah, yeah it will be, be a lot really of fun good. i'm we'll excited be. man um I, i'm super excited so we got uh what do we got creeper reel coming up uh was it spooksy boo uh no spook show so spook show uh halloween club spook show at halloween club uh you can catch gray phantom there he'll be selling uh spook show you'll be selling a lot of your yeah. 3d prints and stuff right yeah, yeah the same same stuff. merchandise same uh, thing. add some new stuff but same merchandise and then yeah. creeper reel you're gonna have a little uh, little preview of the ship yeah, right. the ship will be there. The scare actors will be there. And then you're gonna be um, doing a test run of maybe some shirts. Yeah, we'll right. have some shirts available. Yeah. Uh, more than likely, I, nothing's sealed in stone yet, but more than likely we'll have shirts available. Um, and then you know, ask us questions if you want. There, yeah. Like I said, we may even uh, release the tickets that day. Uh, so Stay be, tuned. Yeah, that's why you follow that. the Instagram and everything. He'll probably <laughs> let you know ahead of time. For sure. Um, as we get closer to the event, and then of course, uh, what do we do on October 10th? Or is that what is that soft uh, we're opening? We're shooting for that. Shooting uh, for October I have 10th. Not potentially that yet. Yeah, but uh, we're shooting for October 10th, which is a Sunday. Okay. Um, and then we'll have them for the weekends after that uh, going on. Board so that. stay tuned into the uh, Instagram and, and TikTok. They'll let you know, of course, the dates of when he's officially going to open. Um, I'm excited, man. I can't wait to, 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 yeah. to go through her halls again, man. I can't yeah, wait to see her, gonna, see her come to life this year. You know, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be great. And, you know, just, just thinking about it and the ideas and, the, you know, just the queen itself. You yeah. know, because I have so many reference photos. I'm just like, maybe I'll do it this way. Maybe yeah. I'll do it that way. Um, it's so cool and again you know thank you guys for all your support thank you uh, Real Family Adventures thank you Charles and Margaret uh, thank you Rick and Jeff and uh, Danny also yeah. <laughs> shout out to Danny uh, Sinister Point people Sinister Point. Um, shout out to them and uh, again thank you for everybody that subscribed to me and has uh, encouraged me to bring the ship back and uh, you know, have been there for the, you know, for the whole convention time too, like for the midsummer and all that, you yeah. know, Rick West and all of them. And, um, they have been fantastic. So thank you guys oh, for we, everything. We and love Rick and you know, he'll, you know, he'll be there opening weekend. He'll probably come out and, and support it too. And thank you. We, yeah. We, again, we just, can't wait. Just thank you guys. Uh, it's been a big, 
just a big shot of just um, pretty much fantastic, you know, what is it called? It's been really great and it's really motivated. Motivation. Motiv motivation. It's been a great motivation for me and it's really helped me through this, you know, whole year of just, uh, yeah. you know, just thinking about what can be done and how I can make things better for you guys. And that's, that's the goal, make things better. Uh, show you guys, you know, what I wanted to do last year and, you know, get the queen, you know, going and up again. We got a, we got the Norwalk team here, man. We're going <laughs> to, we're going to, we're going to kill the, the game in the haunt scene, man. I'm excited to see, uh, what you have to bring to the table this year, man. I'm excited to go. I'm excited to see it all, man. I can't For wait sure. to see when it's all done and said and done. I'll probably even roll by a couple times to see you doing a little construction here and there. You know what I mean? <laughs> behind the scenes photos. Be a little behind the scenes. We could do a little documentary or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> Building it to the day open to like putting it down. It'll be a lot of fun. It will be. Um, but I'm excited, man. I, I know the, the fans are excited. Um, you know, if anything, if you saw it, the, if you were at the panel and you got to see the exclusive sneak peek, uh, you know, people are just excited. The sneak peek is actually on their Instagram right now. If you want to get a sneak peek of what you're going to see this year, a little teaser, as you will. Uh, and then after haunt season's all said and done, then you're going full focus into uh, getting ready for seasons of screams, man. Yeah. So it's going to be our season screaming, should I say? Um, it's going to be great. It's going to be a lot three of fun. Three days. Yeah, three days. So uh, just keep keep in touch with him on Instagram, man, because he'll be announcing uh, what he'll be selling. Uh, what's coming up in the future and he'll keep you guys up to date as to what is happening i'm glad we got to finally do this podcast oh, yeah, it's for been, sure it's, it's a long been, time coming a long time coming <laughs> We're, we've been talking about this since last season so uh it's glad that we finally got to, to do it I, you know he hit me up he's like dude i'm so pumped i'm still pumped from a midsummer scream i'm like let's do it bro i'm ready let's go <laughs> like I, I can't wait so uh check out the great phantom haunt uh it's gonna be a great year this year go follow him on instagram at the great phantom experience as well yes. as on tiktok and uh Stay tuned because he's got an amazing season. Ernie, we can't wait. And Thank we'll you. see you at the Grey Phantom. For I'm sure. Part. You're moving into a dimension.